Bruce Springsteen Quotes That You Don't Want to Miss Bruce Springsteen, American rock musician, born 1949. Don't forget subscribe. When it comes to luck, you make your own. Getting an audience is hard. Sustaining an audience is hard. It demands a consistency of thought, of purpose, and of action over a long period of time. The past is never the past. It is always present. And you better reckon with it in your life and in your daily experience or it will get you. It will get you really bad. We all have stories we're living and telling ourselves. If you're good, you're always looking over your shoulder. The best music is essentially there to provide you something to face the world with. You make your music, then you try to find whatever audience is out there for it. Talk about a dream. Try to make it real. I'm always in search of something, in search of losing myself to the music. Anyone who's grown up or lived on the Jersey Shore knows the place is unique. Most bands don't work out. A small unit democracy is very, very difficult. And whether you're drawn to gospel music or church music or honky-tonk music, it informs your character and it informs your talent. When I was growing up, there were two things that were unpopular in my house. One was me, and the other was my guitar. The release date is just one day, but the record is forever. Until I realized that rock music was my connection to the rest of the human race, I felt like I was dying, for some reason, and I didn't know why. A good song takes on more meaning as the years pass by. There is something about the melody of Thunder Road that just suggests new day. It suggests morning. It suggests something opening up. When you get fat and lose your hunger, that is when you know the sellout has happened. You can't be afraid of getting old. Old is good if you're gathering in life. Our band is good at understanding that equation. You have to create the show anew and find it anew on a nightly basis. Your success story is a bigger story than whatever you're trying to say on stage. Success makes life easier. It doesn't make living easier. Darkness on the Edge of Town came out of a huge body of work that had tons of very happy songs. For me, I was somebody who was a smart young guy who didn't do very well in school. The basic system of education, I didn't fit in. My intelligence was elsewhere. This music is forever for me. It's the stage thing, that rush moment that you live for. It never lasts, but that's what you live for. I like narrative storytelling as being part of a tradition, a folk tradition. The audiences are there as a result of my history with the band, but also as a result of my being able to reach people with a tune. It's always felt natural because I'm generally very comfortable with people. From the beginning, I imagined I would have a long work life. I didn't know if it would be a successful one or what the stages would be, but I always saw myself as a lifetime musician and songwriter. I'm a synthesist. I'm always making music and I make a lot of different kinds of music all the time. Some of it gets finished and some of it doesn't. When I first started in rock, I had a big guy's audience for my early records. I had a very straight image, particularly through the mid eighties. Certainly tolerance and acceptance were at the forefront of my music. 
The best music, you can seek some shelter in it momentarily, but it's essentially there to provide you something to face the world with. Some of the greatest blues music is some of the darkest music you've ever heard. But the star thing I can live with, the music I can't live without, and that's how it lays out for me, you know. I got as big an ego and enjoy the attention. I'm not in any rush. I'm not somebody who, if I write a song, I get it out. That's not something I've ever really quite done. I was signed to a record label at the same time as my friend Elliot Murphy, who makes great records to this day. I have to write and play. If I became an electrician tomorrow, I'd still come home at night and write songs. For an adult, the world is constantly trying to clamp down on itself. Routine, responsibility, decay of institutions, corruption. This is all the world closing in. I was in my late twenties, in the process of shaping my musical outlook and what I wanted it to be about when I first encountered Woody Guthrie. The hungry and the haunted explode in a rock and roll band. All I try to do is to write music that feels meaningful to me, that has commitment and passion behind it. The best music is essentially there to provide you something to face the world with. I think you have a limited amount of impact as an entertainer, performer, or musician. God have mercy on the man who doubts what he's sure of. Talk about a dream. Try to make it real. On any given night, what allows me to get to that higher ground is the audience. The Clash were a major influence on my own music. They were the best rock and roll band. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget subscribe.